Hello everyone, welcome to my channel again. Oh, today we're going to do a uh, crop sectional dependence test uh, in panel data models. And today we're going to look at uh, specifically post estimation uh, test. Okay. In my previous video, we talked about the pre-estimation test so you might want to look for that video and watch it so today we're going to focus on post-estimation cross-sectional dependence tests okay. uh, I'll just give you some notes about this test and then I'll show you how to do the test in data and I'll also give you an example of how to present the test results in a research paper okay so let's get started. Uh, the post estimation uh, test uh, is done after you run uh, the fixed effect or the random effect models. So you need to estimate any of these models, either the fixed effect or the random effect. And then after that, uh, you should have commanded for the test. Okay. Uh, for this particular test that we're going to do today, we use this test with small t and large n. That is, you have a panel data where the time variable is smaller than the, the cross-sectional units. Okay. Uh, if you have a panel model, uh, panel data where your t is large and your n is small, then you have to use the LM test. Uh, post vibration for uh, bigger. Uh, what's the command here? The command is to use xt csd and then we have three options. And I just choose uh, the test by Pesaran, the test by Freeze or the test by uh, uh, Friedman. The null hypothesis in all of these tests is cross-sectional independence. Okay. Okay. So that's what you have to know. It's very important that you do this test, you use this test if your sample, your panel is small t and large n. Okay. Please, if this large t and small n, then use the LM, the LM test. Okay. So let's uh, let me show you how to do this test. Hmm. So this is my data set. Okay, it's a panel as usual. Okay. So what we have to do first is to uh, x this set in our variable. Uh, uh, data set. So I'm going to x d set by the end here. Okay. So we're going to run our model. We're going to use a fixed effect model. So x d red. Okay. And then we're going to choose our variables. Now you can list other variables in your regression equation. Okay. The dependent, these are my independent variables. Okay. Then we're going to bring the option FA. So it is my fixed effects uh, equation. Now I want to test for cross-sectional dependence. So the command to you is x t c s d, okay, and then you bring the option. Uh, I want to do the first around. Uh, 
press on first. Okay. So you can see that we have a certain test of processional independence. Then we have the CD test statistics and then its corresponding p value. Okay. So remember our null hypothesis is what? Processional independence. So looking at the p value, we therefore reject the null hypothesis of processional independence. Which means that there is cross-sectional dependence in uh, our cross-sectional units. Okay. And then we can also try the other options. We can use the fragment. Just a few minutes to have our results. Okay. Okay, so here we are. So again, if you check the fragments test, this like the test statistic is here and its corresponding p value. Again, we reject the null hypothesis of cross-sectional independence and therefore accept the alternative, which is cross-sectional dependence. Okay. The last option that you can use is freeze. Well, mostly using only one will be okay for your research paper. So you can decide to use special on one like this. One is okay for your research paper. Or if you want to use two, you can do that also and put the results in your research paper. But we expect that each of these three is going to give us a similar outcomes. But of course, it may be possible that it can be different. Okay. So the first test is based on the Q distribution. So here we look at the critical values from the Q distribution. Uh, it's 10%, 5%, and 1%. You will see that if you look at the, the critical value at 1 is 0 0.23, uh, which is and then uh, from the Q, uh, Q distribution, the first uh, freeze statistics is, is beyond the critical value even at 0 0.01. Okay. Therefore, we reject the now for this is of course such an independence. Uh, so this is how you go about doing the post estimation test or cross-sectional dependence test in panel data analysis. Uh, here I've used fixed effect model, but of course you can run the test using your random effect model as well. You like you can to bring to get the same results. Okay. Now uh, how do you present this uh, Okay, but uh, this uh, is not my research paper, it's one of the papers uh, I, enjoyed, I enjoyed reading. If you look at this paper, it's, this paper is by, uh, by sensor, uh, okay, Barak sensor. So you see that he did a test, uh, he used the LM test, which is the same uh, table you have to draw. Here you have the test statistics, and then you indicate a p-value here against it. 
So if you use a CD test, you can see it's a, it's a run CD test, the value and the, yeah, the P, or you can use the a Fredman's test, and then you write a test that takes and the P value. So this is how you present your results in the test uh, in your research paper. Okay. Well, thank you very much for watching these videos. Uh, if you like these videos, please subscribe and suggest uh, whichever topics in panel data analysis you want me to discuss. The next video, I'm going to show you how to do the unit with test in the presence of cross sectional dependence. And also, I will give you a chart, a, a diagram of what models to use if you have cross sectional dependence in your sample. So if there's a cost of dependent, then what are the possible estimation approaches you can use? So please watch out for that one because it's very important. Once you have this, then you can decide to use those estimation approach and you can get a in a very good channel. Okay. Thank you very much and see you in the next video. Bye.